Today in this video, I would like to share how to use capacitive proximity sensor with Arduino Uno. How we can identify this is capacitive proximity. You can check it out on the part number written on this sensor and normally open. So the detection range is 1 to 10 mm, so which is a very short range here. So around maybe this, this level. And this sensor voltage is 6 to 36 volt DC. So this sensor is 6 to 36 volt DC. And we are going to use Arduino. So Arduino operation voltage is 5 volt. So from the digital uh, pin or whatever from the voltage from the VCC only can supply 5 volt. So which is not enough to give the power for this sensor. So in this case, we must have between 6 to 36 volt power supply, the range. So you can use 12 volt or you can use 9 volt and you can use 24 volt, whatever, between 6 to 36 volt. So I have one here, 12 volt DC power supply. I'm going to use this 12 volt power supply. And the important here is the wire. So brown, black, blue. So there's three wire here. Brown is for positive and black BK black is for the signal and BU blue blue is for negative so you must not mistake about the wire polarity so you must be very careful brown positive black signal and blue negative this is what I have a server motor SG90 this is going to be 180 degree. So server motor has three wire. So brown is negative, red is positive, and orange is signal. You can check on the data sheet. Place right here. So I will connect to the Arduino. So at first, I'm going to use 5 volt from Arduino to breadboard positive here and the ground from Arduino and negative to the breadboard. So I'm going to use small jumper wire, servo negative connect to negative of the breadboard here and servo positive orange is the signal so the output so orange wire to digital pin number 5 so from the servo part is complete and here I got a sensor capacitive proximity sensor so here we go so this sensor is 6 to 36 volt so I cannot give 5 volt to this sensor it's not enough so in this case I have 12 volt power supply here I'm going to use a DC connector from this side so this is positive this side is negative so my power supply is 12 volt so you have to be very careful about the voltage. Brown wire is for positive. Brown is positive, blue is negative, and black, black is signal. So black color. Black is signal, so black we connect to digital pin number 4 and you have to be very careful that from this 12 volt negative wire you must connect to negative of the breadboard here this negative is come from Arduino Otherwise, your sensor will not work. You cannot detect. So we must have 
one more wire to connect to the negative here. The breadboard negative. So which is linked to all the negative and linked to the ground of the Arduino. So now the wiring is complete and we can upload the code. So I'll provide the, the code link in the description. So now, so now the code is already done uploading, then you can turn on the turbo power supply. So I already turned on my turbo power supply now, and I can test with the sensor. So the sensor is working, there is the LED light that indicate the sensor is already detect something in the object but the server is not work so you just check all your wiring in, in the proper way so all the sensor wiring is correct and server the first wire is negative here Second wire red is positive here connected to the fiber and this orange is signal This is the output connect to this pin number five So wiring is correct and the sensor also work But the server is not turning So in this case what we going to do is the server voltage is a fiber and the current is not enough from this Arduino 5 volt. So in this case, we must have extra 5 volt to give uh, to drive this servo motor. Otherwise, the current is not enough to drive this servo motor. Now I can hear the servo is having the noise. There is a sound, but this is not rotation because the current from this Arduino 5 volt is not enough to supply uh, to support this servo to run. So sometimes we run, but it's not stable. So there is a sound on this uh, servo motor, but this will not rotate anymore. So I'm going to have a 5 volt extra to give this servo motor. So if you don't have extra 5 volt power supply, you can get this kind of uh, IC. Uh, this is 3 pin L7A05, which is 5 volt regulator. So this L7805 is input from 24 volt to 12 volt you can input and output will be 5 volt. So the first pin is input. Let me explain about this. So this is 7805 5 volt regulator. So the first pin is uh, 12 volt positive in and 12 volt negative. And this is 5 volt output. So the negative uh, come back from here So we can place on a breadboard here So in this case, I'm going to have one more jumper wire from the 12 volt positive to regulate to become a 5 volt So here I have one extra jumper wire from the positive, positive connect to 7805, uh, the first pin. And in the mirror is negative. So in the mirror negative, we connect to negative of the breadboard. 
So in the middle, negative connect to negative of the breadboard, and th this side of the pin is the fiber output. So this pin going to be the fiber output. So this pin from this servo fiber wire, you remove. And we're going to use 5 volt So now the servo motor 5 volt is not from this Arduino anymore This 5 volt is from this 7805 output 5 volt So this time we can test so our server is already start running. So now let's run. Check with your uh, sensor. So once the sensor is detected, the server is rotate as well. It's no problem, no issue. Because now the 12 volt is regulate to 5 volt. So this 5 volt is give extra 5 volt to this servo motor. So in this case now, you can remove this 5 volt wire from Arduino. You don't need this 5 volt from Arduino anymore. But you cannot remove negative wire from the ground wire from Arduino. So now what you need is you just need to have 12 volt power supply. And you need to have 7805 regulator. Then you can drive this sensor and you can drive servo motor. So you cannot remove this ground wire from Arduino. If you remove, then you will not get the signal. Let's try. If you remove wire here, the servo will not rotation. In the sensor, the output is not connect to this Arduino so the ground wire must be connect to the Arduino so I hope you like this video and I hope this video will help for some of those uh, who are having the problem how to add extra fiber and how to give extra uh, separate 12 power supply to this capacitive proximity sensor so in this project you can use either is capacitive proximity sensor or you can use inductive proximity sensor which will be ranged from 6 to 36 volt DC and the server is regardless of the size and the model you can use the bigger size and the server you must not exist more than 5 volt more than 6 more than 6 volt so the maximum voltage you can give up to 6 volt so I hope you like this video and thank you for watching.